Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Dope Modesty. Well, it's Saturday and it's the weekend. I hope you guys are having a great day or you have plans to do some great things today. Well, today I have a couple of things and two of my favorite things actually. One is Scentbox, my fragrance subscription for the month. And the other one is another happy mail, friend mail. And I'm so excited about this and look how pretty it is. And you wanna know who it's from? Just stay tuned. beautiful wildflowers welcome back and as i said i hope you guys are planning a really fun weekend and it is the weekend right before thanksgiving right so you guys are gonna have a short week at least i know i am i'm working through wednesday and i have thursday and friday off it's a long four-day weekend usually you know i would have a big gathering and everything else but of course because of covid we haven't been able to do that for the last couple of years but it will still be fun to have downtime because I am so exhausted, guys. I really am. I've been really, really busy at my day job. And so finally, I got to the post office today and sent out a couple of things. And I still need to send out a couple of more boxes that I didn't yet pack. But I'll get that done tonight or tomorrow morning. So yeah. Anyway, what do I have? I have my favorite fragrance subscription, which is Scentbox. And guess who this is from? Guess who, guess who? Half of you probably guessed. It's from my buddy, Stephanie, opinionated horsewoman, and she sent me another card. So we have this Japanese back and forth thing kicking, I think. And so, yeah, it's kind of fun though, huh? So yeah, so what I wanna do is I wanna open this card first because I'm really excited about it. Okay, of course, where's my little card opener? I didn't have one, I didn't bring one. Okay, so what can I do? I will go ahead and use my cutter but I have to be really careful because oh actually this will work out better because I don't want to ruin anything in here and I want to show you first look she's got this kitty a kitty and a beautiful flower and it's a really pretty decoration right there so yeah okie dokie let me see what's in here I'm dying to know so you know Stephanie, right? I will pop her picture up there. And um, she's an opinionated horsewoman. And I love her so much because she's, she was one of my first YouTube um, creator friends. And I kind of stuck with her because, I mean, she's no nonsense. And, you know, it, it, she's very authentic. And for me, it's so important that she's authentic. But guess what? I'm going to go ahead and open this because that just reminds me I have to do the, I got so excited guys. I have to do the, um, yeah, the affirmation. You guys always wait for the affirmation. You're probably like, hey, 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 you forgot something. Yeah, I did. And I know <laughs> Rhonda Stuther said, you need to watch this other video back because you are like had too much caffeine. Actually, no. What happens is when I get excited, I become childlike. And everything is like, wow, 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 I gotta do this, I gotta do this, and I get like that. And so I just have to slow down. It kind of drives my husband crazy, but not really because he's used to it now. And But in the beginning, it was like, oh my God, you're making me dizzy, so yeah. Okay, so let's jump. So, 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 I need to cut that word out. You know, I'm going to, um, it's weird because when I do speeches at Toastmasters, I don't do that. I don't know why I do that talking to you guys. Anyway, so, huh? Ah, my motivation app and let's, uh, okay, let's pick this one. Uh, okay, here it is. It's another black and white one. Hey, why is this black and white one keep, I need to change the background to random again. I thought it was. Oh, I think maybe it changed my I am app to that. Yeah, okay. It says, I think loving thoughts about everyone. Ooh, that's a good one. I think loving thoughts about everyone, and I do. And you know, I give everybody a chance, and I don't ever approach somebody with negativity, especially if I don't know them. And I really wanna to get to know them, and in order for me to get to know them and for them to open up, I have to approach them in a positive manner. And sometimes people are like, why are you so happy? But 
and this is who I am. And But I do always think positive things about people, at least initially, right? Unless they wrong me, then I still, you know, I never try not to, I try not to think bad things about them uh, and I just stay away from them. But you know, give everybody a chance. I mean, even if some stranger that I don't know, I remember this one lady um, that used to go to the uh, my mosque and she was a tough one. And you could tell she had a really, really rough life. It's, it, it was on her face, it was in her eyes. And every time I would walk by her, I would say, or greeting, you know, how are you? And, um, but in Arabic, of course, and she would just like shift her eyes down and just kind of ignore me. And I would, I mean, I would purposely make sure if I see her coming, I get in her path and I would smile my smile and say to her, Assalamu Alaikum. And then smile and then she, she'll just mumble it and then she'll walk away. Well, one day I caught her off guard and I said the same thing and gave her the biggest smile in the world. She cracked a smile. She really cracked a smile. And that was, she was a hard nut to crack. But you know, if I thought, you know, people told me, well, she doesn't smile at anybody. Don't, you know, it's not against you. She's just, you know, she's just grumpy. And I'm thinking to myself, no, I think she had a rough life. And anyway, what happened at the end is that she actually started to talk to me and she would actually seek me out at the mosque. And I was the only one who she would actually talk to. And so people were really surprised and they're like, okay, what is, what is she like? What is she about? I said, well, why don't you find out yourself? Smile at her. Don't quit. Don't give up. Just keep smiling at her. They will have to crack sooner or later, okay? So it worked out. So don't think bad about anybody, especially if you don't know their story, give them an opportunity, okay? But at the same time though, be careful because I have been fooled and this is one thing my husband really, really bothers him about me is that um, I open myself up to people and they tend to start taking advantage and he sees it and he gets really bothered by it and he'll say, you, you're too trustworthy, you trust people too much, you give yourself too much to them, you know, too soon. I said, well, no, I'm just being myself. And so when we first got married, that bothered him a lot. Now he knows how I am and he's like, okay, she's tougher than she seems, but he thought I was just a really softy, but I said, no, I'll be soft. But you know, if people, it's their laws if they take advantage of me because I'll find out and I'll be like, okay, sorry, we can't be friends anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, ah, I got so sidetracked. Okay, I actually got in the, uh, the envelope and I didn't destroy it again. This is from Stephanie. And let's see what she had to say. Ooh. Oh, giving thanks for you. Oh, look. And it's a, like one of those rough like crystals because it's got crystals on there. Oh, and it's got a pilgrim's hat with a butterfly, two butterflies. It's a mouse with a little, um, like a basket of berries. Oh, so pretty. And, and she gave me some stickers. I love stickers, 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 more stickers. Okay, oh, she remembered. Stephanie, you're too good to me. She, I think she knew that I love this sticker so much. It's a wallflower on one side and a butterfly on the other side. I made such a big deal out of it last time. She gave me another one and uh, she picks up really quick. She's a smart cookie and you know, I mean, and butterflies. Yay. Oh, they're so pretty. And you know, she has a lot of unboxings and she gets like unique boxes that I don't get. And, um, and she posts some really good reviews. And ooh, yeah, she does know me. Tiffany and Co. Looky there. Ooh, I like this one. I'm gonna have to save this one for a special page of my journal. And so anyway, as I, I was saying, um, she has some unique subscriptions and, and she, she actually introduced me to um, the brush subscription and everything. So yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, oh, you are my sunshine. Aww. And so yeah, check her out. And if you like her, please do subscribe. Like I said, she's so authentic and she's my buddy. And so yeah, okay, it all oh, sloth. She knows I like sloths. I love sloths actually, yeah. And I think, oh, my bottle's not here, but um, yeah, I have a sloth on there. And look, another sloth, Oh, This is so cute, hanging onto a rainbow. And cacti, yeah, it's a bunch of cactus. And another butterfly. And oh, this is really, ooh, this is gonna be a little bit 
it's very uh, wood, uh, fragile, but it's beautiful. Look at this. This will go perfectly in my January page. Ooh, thank you so much, Stephanie. And so what does she have to say? I should have probably read the card first. Oh, there's more snowflakes. Another one? Just like four of them. Look. Oh, this is so pretty. I like it. Yeah. Okay, it says, Thanksgiving is a time for savoring memories and thinking warm thoughts of wonderful people like you. Wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. Love you, lady. Stephanie. Oh, love you back too, Stephanie. My buddy. Let's just shine. Look. Ah, uh, oh, that just made my whole weekend. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Nothing good. Nothing else good has to happen because I got my happy meal. Okay, alrighty. Okay, that's that. And let's see. As you notice, I was lazy. I'm still being lazy because I had a hard week. My scent box. So let's see what I got. You know, I don't even remember what I asked for this um, this time. And as you know, I get the two cent subscription, which ends up being about $34 a month. You have the option of getting just one, and which ends up being $14 a month. But um, the first one is $9 and change. And if you use the link below, you'll get one for free, okay? If you use the link below, and that's my link, I don't get anything for i don't get money or anything i get like brownie points i get points um for you know referring a friend um, i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that so it's anything what anybody else would get so okay as you know they come in a box like this if you see my unboxings before and uh, another thing that what i love about um scent box is that you get the automizer container every time and look at here it's my favorite color and you twist up like this and it just pops out like that and the name of the fragrance will be on the bottom like this whereas like scentbird i used to get scentbird but only thing you do is you get one of these a year and then rest of the time you get this and it doesn't it's not even color coded like this it's just plain like silver or gold or whatever but this one you get it every time and i like it like that because i don't want to keep changing it out and you know and i have like like 50 of these already <laughs> and so yeah i like them and um and oh no way are they both like that no just one but oh guys look at this breast cancer awareness one. Oh, that is so nice it didn't say that on there. This is a good surprise. So you know what? I'm going to pop up real quick on here what I got. I have my computer right here. So let me send set box. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and here it is. And what did I get? Okay. I'm going to put on my glasses. And then the first scent I got is called, mm, <laughs> it's too small. Sorry. Um, I believe it's that one. And it is Li, it's L'Intudit Eau de Parfum. It's by Givenchy, okay? And um, it's like that. And this is the one with the breast cancer one. And let's see, I'm not wearing, am I wearing a fragrance today? No, no, I'm not. So let's see what, I'm gonna spray this one. And this one, let me tell you about it. This um, is the Oriental Classic Evening Fall Fragrance. And the scent characteristic of this is Jasmine with Sandback. It's orange blossom, patchouli, pear, and tuberose. So let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh my goodness, this is nice. Oh, this is really, really nice. Okay, it's by Givenchy. I think I'm gonna order this. Le Interdit Eau de Parfum. And it is a um, premium one. And this is actually really good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and print out what it is. Like, I'll write it out for you in the, um, in the comments below. Comments? And the details below because I think a lot of people would love this fragrance. Oh, my. I, I, this is really nice. Let me see what it says. Among the first... 
sorry, among the first perfume creations of the house of Givenchy stands the legendary scent of Lee Entered It from 1957 dedicated to actress Audrey Hepburn as the most significant muse of this fashion designer. In 2018, its new modern version called Le Interdut Givenchy, launched, developed by perfume, by perfumers uh, Dominique R R Ropion and Filippo and Fanny Bay as a floral woodsy composition. The perfume is built on a basis of contrast between a bouquet of white flowers, including jasmine, tuberose, and orange blossoms, and intense woody and earthy notes of patchouli and vertebrae. That's why I like it so much. The concept behind the creation is the thrill of the forbidden and the challenge of crossing the line. Active ingredients include a white floral exalted with dark accord. Mm -hmm. The first re resolutely underground flower, the white notes, orange blossom, jasmine, and tuberose are interlaced with the darker, more mysterious notes of vertebrae and patchouli, a generous, intense brightness that isn't afraid of subversion, unforgettable, intense, addictive, and fearlessly elegant. The shock side of chic. It is really nice, guys. You know, this kind of, if you like, um, if you like Poison by Christian Dior, you would really love this. And I'm talking about the original Poison. Wow, this is very nice. Very, very nice, guys. And I'll go ahead and put the um, names of the fragrance that I received today. Okay, now let's just hop on over to the other one. And let's see which one that is. Because what I do is I, it, they don't send the paper one, which is fine because... It, they're being environmentally, you know, conscious. Okay, so this is by Yves Saint Laurent and it's called Manifesto. And this one has five stars after 78 ratings. Manifesto is a new women's perfume from Yves Saint Laurent launched in August of 2012. The perfume is described as spontaneous, free-spirited, and contagious. Ooh, I like that. A scent full of passion and emotion. The face of perfume is actress Jessica Chastain, who declared Yves Saint Laurent is the brand that inspire. I gotta go to the next page. That's why I said... Uh, inspire me deeply. Since its creation, the brand has conveyed strong values that I cherish, such as unwavering comment, absolute love and femininity and audacity. The new fragrance is an emblem of it all. The composition is developed by Anne Filippo and Lok Dong. It starts off the fresh green wave, bergamot and black currant. Ooh, and I love those two. The heart includes accords of white flowers such as sandbag, jasmine, and lily of the valley. Hmm. The base is woody and slightly oriental and captures this note of cedar, sandwood, vanilla, and tonka beans. I think that's why I chose it because of those notes because I love it. And um, it's uh, the fragrance family is aromatic. It is considered sporty uh, and romantic and it's for fall. So, okay, I sprayed this arm. I'm going to spray this arm for, with this one. This is what I think about that. And they're both in pink. Ha! I love pink. Okay. Okay, I think I missed my arm. Hold on here. It's nice. It smells like something I own. You know what this smells like? My juicy bubbly. Um, I like it. It is floral. It's light floral. It's not as floral as, um, because I'm not huge at like deep florals. It's not as floral as the first one here, but this one is a lot, lot less floral, but it's much more tame. It does have a, if you don't like the scent of powder, powdery smell, you're not going to like this. Um, it's definitely wearable for me. I, I think it's a good fragrance, but, um, yeah, I'm going to have to wear it a little bit longer to see how it settles on me. But it is a little bit too powdery for me. Um, but like I said, if you like um, it's something that's powdery, this this is it. And um, huh. I'm trying to think of what how to describe this aside from powdery. Because a lot of people see powdery and they don't like it. But it's not like the, you know, the um, older oriental fragrance that's powdery. It's more of a modern younger you know powdery it smells clean okay i can see why they say it's sporty because it smells clean 
but it's not uh, like elegant you know what I mean this would be good for I think this would be more of a younger people scent um, than you know somebody more mature like myself but it is not bad I mean I'm not saying it's bad at all it's just not my thing um, but I will be you know but like I said it's wearable and this is something that I will probably put on when I have on a pair of jeans you know I a button-up shirt uh, and red lipstick and no makeup you know that that's that's what this reminds me of so yeah yeah so no not bad not bad but not the best fragrance I've gotten but not that where I'm gonna return it because as you know you are allowed to return one fragrance a month and pick whatever else you want that's the other part that it, uh, other companies will not do and scent bucks does so well okay and so that that's the positive things you get the automizer you can return one fragrance if you don't like it and get another one and they don't fuss it's a very easy process because i have sent things back in the past in the very beginning and um all you do is print a return thing and then you just ship it and then at the same time you pick whatever you want and let them know that one's coming back. And yeah, that's that's what it is. And so I really like the um, a scent box, but I'm really loving this breast cancer one. Wow. Okay. So like I said, one is like 10 out of 10. And this one, I'm going to say 7 out of 10 um, because it's just not my thing. You know, I mean, I could wear it. But it's not something that I would go wow over. Like this one. This one was wow. Okay. Alrighty. So I, I hope this helps. I know it's not a very good description. But it's really hard to describe something I'm smelling to you. Um, in, in such fine details. But like I said. I mean if you like. Um, uh, like um, like the bubbly. It's called bubbly. And, and um, what did I say the name of that was? Like, oh, Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture Bubbly. This is what it's very similar, very similar. Okay. And so like I said, it's a young people's floral fragrance. Yeah. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. And so excited about my card. And so, yeah, do please do check out Stephanie and see if you like her. And if you do, please consider subscribing because she is a great gal. And she she is in your face honest and I love that about her. So anyway, alrighty my beautiful wildflowers. If I added any value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing by hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell, and selecting all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or good weekend whenever you're watching this. And it does not matter when that is. But just remember what does matter though. And the field of roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.